Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I am going to talk about the memory based question for SEBI phase 2 for the year 2020. This is the second video in our video series where we are bringing the previous year questions for SEBI for phase 1 as well as for phase 2. The video which was made earlier to this video was having the question from year 2022 so that you can have an idea about the latest pattern of the questions. Now I am taking you back in the past to the year 2020 to make you and uh, give you an understanding about the type of questions that were asked then there. So in the year 2020 basically SEBI conducted the exam where it conducted the very first kind of scenario of the coding test in paper uh, to the of the phase two basically. So yes that was a kind of first uh, experiment that happened uh, for any IT exam in the government sector to have coding based IDE in their actual examination. So yes these questions are important but again for your disclaimer information the question pattern has been changed. The pattern of the paper itself has been changed. Now you will be getting nine questions out of which you have a choice to attempt only six questions so that you can leave any three questions of your own choice. They will all be well instructed and given to you. But in the year 2020, the students who appeared in 2020, they were not having that kind of privilege. Whatever questions were given to them, they only have to write the code for them. And also the Pariksha was also not that good in the year 2020. Nowadays, it is very, very, very better as compared to year 2020, 2021, 2022, it is very, very, very better. So yes, uh, you guys will be benefited from uh, this particular video series. Before I begin it, I will ask everyone to go and watch the previous video. Also, I have made the video on the Pariksha platform where you will get an entire understanding of the user interface of the Pariksha as well as how you will be actually having your entire examination flow, like how you will be getting the problem statement, how you will get the input and output, everything has been well explained in those videos. Please go and watch those videos. They are available in our YouTube channel. Also, if you like this video, Please do hit the like button after you are done with watching the video and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss update from our side when we bring these kinds of video to you. So this was an information for you all. Now let's begin to the questions that we are going to discuss today. So these are memory based questions which are of 10 marker as you can see. Uh, these three questions were asked for 10 marker. The entire 100 marks paper was having 5 questions out of which three questions of 10 markers were there. So the very first question was related to a program to find out a day from the given dates between 2000 and 2020. So there will be a date basically given to you like, and then you have to find what will be the day on that particular date. So you have to put your logic all together to do it. This is very good if you are having an understanding that how you are going to tackle the reasoning and mathematics question. If you have done these kinds of questions in any of these two areas, it will be very good because you will be knowing the logic beforehand. The only thing that you need to be aware of the libraries that you are going to use and the logic that you are going to put into the programming words. So this is all that you need to know for this particular question and the question was damn easy. If you know the logic, how to calculate the date, if the day has to be given like the date is given to you how to calculate the day which fall on that particular date. Now the next question is about a program to convert the binary number to hexadecimal. It is also a kind of traditional program that was asked and it was very easy. Then the third program was related to the difference between the two diagonals of a matrix. This is also very easy and will just require you of having a basic understanding of two dimensional arrays and how you multiply the matrix the concept. Now, coming to the other side of the memory based question, these are the two questions out of which the first question was of 40 mark and the second question was of 30 marks. The first question which asks you to insert, delete and search in a binary source tree, this question was of 40 marker. So that time the trees were the favorite topic of uh, uh, SEBI, still trees are very favorite topic uh, of SEBI and they ask every year question on that. Then again. The next question was given with some scenario like a string of size n and you have to perform a function that will be having these two rotations clockwise or anti-clockwise when you have to rotate the elements d 
where d is less than or equal to n. So there will be a rotation and then you have to give the output after the rotation. So these all things were asked for the question which was of 30 marks. So these five questions were asked in 2020 and uh, you can get an easy idea that now the difficulty level has been reduced and also more application based questions are asked. Most traditional questions are asked in 10 marker but they were also asked like that in the previous years but the 40 marker and the 30 marker questions have been reduced and the difficulty level has actually reduced a lot. So it will be very easy for the people who will be appearing in 2024. And yes, if you prepare properly, keeping in mind the pattern and everything, it will be very good if you start as early if you want to give this exam. So that was all from my side for this video. Hope it was meaningful for you. And if you like it, do hit the like button, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get regular update from our side. Prepare 50% faster with iExamB and for doing that, you have to go to our website that is www.iExamB.com. Go there and watch our demo course and then decide what you want to do. If you still have any kind of doubts, you can write that in comment section or you can reach out to us on the number which is flashed on the screen or on the email ID that is hello at iExamB.com. We'll be more than happy to help you. Till the time I keep bringing the next video, keep practicing and stay updated.